Retired American generals Philip Breedlove and Ben Hodges have claimed that a tiny German force in Lithuania could defend the country against a large-scale Russian invasion, citing opaque war games conducted in Washington. Breedlove and Hodges recently took part in a computer simulation commissioned by Strong Together, a Lithuanian think tank, and run by the Washington-based Center for the Study of New Generation Warfare. Speaking to German tabloid Bild, they said that the simulation pitted 4,800 German soldiers and 44 Leopard tanks against a Russian force of nearly 30,000 attacking Lithuania through Latvia and from Belarus. There are currently 800 German soldiers stationed in Lithuania, a number set to swell to 4,800 by 2027. In the simulation, the Lithuanian military was used to hold back the Russian advance for four days before the 44 German tanks somehow outflanked and defeated the Russian contingent invading from Latvia in a brilliant maneuver. By the 10th day, Breedlove and Hodges claimed the Germans and Lithuanians would have lost 17 tanks, 145 armored vehicles and 3,650 troops. Russia would somehow have lost 411 tanks, 1,019 armored vehicles and 11,420 men in the same time frame the former American generals profess without explaining further. A separate assessment of the war game published by Lithuania's LRT News news site claimed that a Russian advance could be halted short of Vilnius in time for NATO reinforcements to arrive, but only if the country invested $10.8 billion in its military over the next four years, almost doubling its current defense spending. Such a favorable outcome would also depend on Lithuania being given attack helicopters and long-range missiles to strike targets inside Russia, Gitaras Azubalis, a retired colonel of the Lithuanian Armed Forces, told LRT. Azubalis told Bild that while he believes the 4,008 100 Germans could defeat the Russian division coming from Latvia, Lithuania would nevertheless be left devastated and partially occupied within two weeks of fighting. Hodges and Breedlove have a history of outlandish predictions. Hodges once claimed that Western weapons would enable Ukraine to seize Crimea by last year and declared in March 2022 that Russia was 10 days away from running out of missiles and artillery shells. Breedlove claimed earlier this year that Ukraine can seize Crimea if given enough Western weapons, an assessment not shared by the Pentagon. Компас, компас, я Фредди подтверждаю Форсика. Впало на край. Да. Після пуску ЗРК Стрела-10 знайшли БПЛА, збила Стрела-10 Оріон, Оріон, от він догорає в тури, який він стріляв, камера згорівша, криво, розмах крива. Стрела десятого сбила Орион. Компас, компас, я Фредди подтверждаю Форсика. Впало на край. Да. После пуска ЗРК Стрела 10 нашли БПЛА. Збила стріла 10 Оріон. Оріон. От він догорає в тури, який він стріляв. Камера згорівша. Криво. Розмах крива. Стріла 10 збила Оріон. Ukrainian attacks continue to degrade Russia's military capabilities in the occupied Crimean Peninsula, the UK's Defense Ministry reported on social media, citing intelligence data. The report mentioned a recent attack by the Ukrainian army on a maritime oil terminal in Feodosia. On the 7th of October, the Ukrainian military attacked the terminal, the largest on the peninsula used for trans-shipping oil products for the Russian occupiers. Earlier in March, this terminal was struck by Ukrainian drones, according to British intelligence. They also noted that in 2024, Ukrainian strikes on Crimea targeted air defense systems, airfields, 
command centers, naval and logistical facilities, and the Kirsch Strait crossing. Ukrainian attacks continue to incrementally degrade Russia's military capabilities on the Crimean Peninsula, the UK Defense Ministry concluded. After the Ukrainian strike on the maritime oil terminal in Theodosia, the fire was extinguished after nearly seven days. The invaders set up mobile refueling stations, which changed locations to avoid further Ukrainian attacks. The Russian High Command ordered fuel stations to remain in one location for only 12 hours. Earlier, British intelligence wrote that Russia was covering the Crimean Bridge with a physical barrier, air defense forces and a range of other means, hoping to protect it from further Ukrainian attacks. Russians are reportedly constructing a new structure parallel to the Crimean Bridge running alongside the main bridge. Actually, this is another bridge, though its purpose remains unclear. This is according to the Crimean Wind Telegram channel. The post notes that piles are being transported on ships and barges and driven into the seabed to establish the structure. In addition, Russia is said to be intensifying security efforts for the illegal bridge structure, including installing metal towers on Tuzla Island adjacent to the bridge, outfitted with platforms for anti-aircraft systems. Sergei Aksyonov, the so-called head of Russian-occupied Crimea, has proposed replacing the term new regions, which Russians use for occupied territories of Ukraine with historical regions, claiming that these lands have always belonged to Russia. Aksyonov argued that these territories were part of the Russian Empire and the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics and therefore should not be called new. The rhetoric from Kremlin collaborators is yet another attempt to justify the annexation of Ukrainian lands and attempts to erase Ukraine's historical and cultural heritage.